Good morning, everyone. I hope you all are doing well. Thank you so much for joining us in this session today uh, on a Saturday morning. Um, so today's session is mostly about, uh, you know, understanding the course navigation. And also I'll be giving you all a live tutorial on how you can proceed with the course. So um, as I was going through the course progress, I can see that many of you, uh, you know, you started already with the course um, this week. So, I mean, that's a, that's a great start. So, um, to start with, my name is Shreya Joshi and I'm the community coordinator at b -Skill. I have been connected with you all through mails, through WhatsApp, um, but it's a, it's a pleasure to speak with you all today for the first time, uh, live in the session. So, um, welcome everybody. And I think let's quickly get started with the session. If you if you have any queries, you can always use the raise hand feature uh, on Zoom. And yeah, I'm I'm always I'll be reachable. To, I'll reach out to you guys. Uh, you can also use the chat feature on Zoom to drop down your questions. Um, so yeah, I mean let's let's quickly get started. Uh, so well, yeah. So first, I would like to introduce B Skill to you. Um, so so B Skill is a vision to see a connected health workforce across geographies with equal opportunities in learning, development, and career growth. Um, B Skill has um, a lot of courses going on, which is in the form of collective learning certificate courses, and a few other courses as well, of which I'll introduce to you um, in the go. We have communities running uh, of which you can be a part of. I'd introduce that as well to you. So um, it's, it's basically a network of pharmacists and supply chain professionals, healthcare professionals who are all together in one platform. And, you know, um, everybody is just sharing their experiences and learning. So so um, the, the holistic approach of learning together as one is, is pretty, pretty much going well. Well, um, I believe everybody has their accounts till now on Hive and you all already have the access to the course. So this session will help you understand how you can, uh, you know, make the best use of these three months because three months isn't a very big period. So, so let's make the best use of our time, right? So let's proceed further with this. All right. So when I speak of the Hive platform, um, on the Hive platform, you'll find several features of which we'll be discussing live in the session as well. Um, we have mentors, supervisors, and people, trainers, experts who are on the Hive platform supervising whatever you are doing, whatever questions you are having. Um, we have competency-based learning of which I'll surely encourage you to, to, to participate in. Uh, I'll, I'll explain you how. Uh, you can professionally connect with other your peers, for example, the ones who are present today with us. Um, there is a social connect. It's it's like a um, like a Facebook or a social media type um, feature where you can uh, befriend others, you can message others, you can connect with your peers from all around the world. So it's it's pretty much about that. There is community of there. There are several communities which you can join actually. Um, there are so so the communities are both in the French language and English language according to whatever you you'd like to join in. There's a knowledge management system, um, and there are skills assessment as well, of which you will experience uh, throughout the course. So it's about that our Hive platform. Well, uh, before we get into the navigation session, I very much want to know about you all also. So let's first have a little discussion. Um, I'd love to know about your about what you do. Um, what are the problems that you face in your uh, you know healthcare health sector? Um, you all are coming from different countries. So from which country are you? What are what is the organi organization you're working in? What is your role over there? What are the expectations you have from the course? Um, what do you see that, you know, after three months, I see myself um, having the knowledge of these certain aspects or so, so that we can also take notes of. Um, so, yeah, I mean, let's let's get to know you all. 
Um, so from the ones who have joined us, okay. So I would be calling your names one by one. If you're present, you can surely unmute yourself and you can please introduce yourself to all of us. Let's start with uh, Miss Evelyn, if you're there. Evelyn is from Rhonda. Are you are you there? I think you, you're there. Can you please unmute yourself real quick? Yes, I'm there. Hi. My name is Hi. As we can yeah. see from Delhi, I'm working in Rwanda FDA. Oh. It's a regular care authority in Rwanda for food and drugs authority. My law, I'm working as a resident consultant. Many really our job description are the we are setting the application for human medicine registration. We are saying then after we visa. My, I uh, have seen as the, what has inspired me to work in the public health sector that I want to contribute to play my role in improving the health, health service. Then what I have planned to gain, first I will connect with other health care providers from different countries. I will learn more about supply chain, which which is my interest, and I plan to do a master in supply chain. So this will be my big day. Thank you. Thank you so much. It's so lovely to have you amongst us. Amazing. Okay. Uh, do we have Mr. Samuel also today with us? If you're there. Yeah, I can see you. I think, um, are you there? Hello. Hi. How are you doing? I am good. Um, it's called Samuel Katunji. I'm a pharmacist yeah. by profession. I'm registered to practice in Uganda and East Africa. I work at uh, uh it's a regional referral covering uh covering 13 districts in uh, southwestern Uganda. It's called Masaka Regional Referral Hospital. It, uh, it serves about, uh, about 15 million people. It holds one of the largest uh, uh, HIV clinics in the country. So I basically uh, work with this uh, regional referral majorly to coordinate supply chain activities for the HIV clinic, as well as managing other essential medicines, and also support the entire region uh, composed of 13 uh, uh, districts. I've started so far the course, I've, uh, I've finished the first introduc introduction part, uh, it's very interactive, it's very engaging. It actually it uh, captures exactly most of the work I do on a daily basis. So I'm enjoying it, learning more. I look forward to get more knowledge, especially interacting with uh, my colleagues. I can see there is rich of experience experience and expertise on the platform from different people from Africa and beyond. So I'm looking forward to interacting with all of you as well as learning more. And uh, I hope uh, this platform will give us a chance to keep learning and growing. We shall not stop just on, on the introduction course shall go ahead and ahead and get more uh, qualifications, more expertise. That is my expectation, but so far so so good. And thank you so much for for this great opportunity for me. Yeah, thank was, you so much. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Mr. Samuel. It's so lovely to have you. Um, that's great to hear from you. We also have Miss, um, Miss Rose, if you're there. 
Krivdas. Uh, I believe she's not there probably. Okay. Uh, we have Mr. Mohammed with us today. Uh, yeah. Hello, everyone. Uh, mm -hmm. My name is Mohammed Musa. I'm from Sudan. I work with uh, Federal Minister of Health. Uh, we have this project management unit. I work with the Global Fund uh, at the Federal uh, Minister of Health. Uh, um, I'm, I'm a pharmacist by professional. Um, I always uh, inspire myself that I do something that is related to my professional in, in practice. And I'm passionate about the health system strengthening, especially in the area of the supply chain and the public health area. Um, 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 I work uh, for almost two years with the Federal Minister of Health. I have been um, coordinating an, uh, uh, part, uh, partnership with our uh, partner for sufficient supply chain. And um, I'm really um, um, in you know, I'm really um, expecting that this course will help me with networking, getting its health, and strengthening uh, my knowledge and uh, a way that I could like translate knowledge to practice and interact actively with my colleague from neighboring country here in Africa and uh, from other part of the world. Uh, thank you for the opportunity. Looking forward for positive outcome of the course and collaboration with my colleague here at the B Skills and the winner of uh, this scholarship. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mr. Mohammed. Looking forward to seeing your progress as well. Um, amazing. Okay. We, I think we have a Florentine with us today. No, probably. Okay. Um, do we have Adwa with us? Okay. Uh, do we have Corinne with us today? Hi, Shreya. Uh, Corinne Hi. here. Hi. Uh, Hi, everybody. My name is Corinne Zulu. I am a sub-district pharmacist uh, under the Ministry of Health Zambia, the Saka District. Mm -hmm. I supervise 13 facilities in uh, zone two of Lusaka district. My main roles are basically to ensure that there is an interrupted supply of uh, medicines and medical supplies in all the facilities, ensure that there is equitable and um, access to health services to all the people and the patients that need them in all these facilities. And I'm also involved in forecasting and quantification of medicines that are needed for procurement through the grants that we receive from the government. Um, my expectations uh, of this course is that I get to have more skills gained and knowledge in terms of supply chain, a better understanding of how the global supply chain works, uh, the public health global supply chain works especially looking at a broader view, what other countries are doing and how they are making it work. I hope to be able to uh, impact the supply chain system in the country by making it more resilient, more reliable and more robust. I am excited for this opportunity and I look forward to the next three months. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Ms. Corinne. Uh, it's so lovely to have you here. Um, we also have, I think, Wani with us today. Yeah. Yes, good morning, everyone. Good morning. Uh, my name is Wani Paulino Rogale. I'm from South Sudan, a newborn country. I've been getting independent in 2011. So I'm a pharmacist working in uh, State Minister of Health working in a referral hospital called Al Sabah Children Hospital, only referral hospital in the capital city, pediatrics. So my role there as uh, I'm a pharmacist, so my role is, uh, I have a lot of things which I'm uh, in role with. One of it that I'm doing forecastings and I'm doing also quantifications for medication which it came from the donors. And also I do giving also to inpatient pharmacy because 
I'm also dispensing with my team. I have like almost 15 members, which are the under my teams. So what inspired me to do this? Because we really have a lot of challenges this, uh, regarding the supply chain management. I did before one post, but still I need to be adding the knowledge more and more so that I can help the whole system. Because we used to do some drug rotations and we have some weakness because we are getting a lot of bulk of expiring medications. So I think if there is a better quantification and forecasting from us or from, from, side or from the donors, I think it's going to help the systems, the Ministry of Health, especially in the state Ministry of Health. So I'm really thankful for this great opportunity from B skills as well as from the API, International Pharmaceutical Federation, for this such great opportunities to be given to us. As I'm a younger pharmacist, I'm just having experience of like six years or five years. It's really great opportunities for me. So I'm very uh, grateful to get such opportunity. And I look forward that I'm going to know different countries, members, my neighbor country, Sudan is there. Uganda is my neighbor also country. And also India is like my country because I, I did my pharmacy in India. So it is really a privilege to me to be here. And I look forward to getting more and more knowledge about it. Thank you so much. So well said. <laughs> We, we all are here together. I mean, so I mean, learning from each other would always be a great option. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, well, we have uh, Lilian as well, I think, today. Uh, yes, good afternoon to you all. So I'm Lilian Oigara. I'm a trained pharmacist also from India with 10 years of experience in pharmacy. So currently, I am the sub-county pharmacist. I coordinate pharmaceutical services in one of the sub-counties in Kisumu County. That is one of the counties in Kisumu. So part of the things that I do is to coordinate pharmaceutical services within 33 facilities or hospitals that are within my, the sub-county that I work in. So this is inclusive of both the private and public hospitals. Supply chain in health has been a challenge also in our country. And also supply chain is a great contributor to us having uh, the required commodities in order to serve the citizens in terms of health care. So thank you, Bill, for the opportunity that you have granted me. I'm excited to be part of this team, and I'm really looking forward to interacting and learning more from each and every one of you. Thanks, and have a good afternoon. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Ms. Lillian. Looking forward to seeing your progress. That's so nice. Okay. We also have, I th no, I think Christopher is not present. It's okay. Uh, we have uh, Kakanang today with us. Hello, everyone. Hello, Sri Sriya. Uh, Hello. Nice to meet you all. Yes, my name is Kakanang. I'm a pharmacist at uh, National Drug Health Policy Division of Thai FDA under the Ministry of Public Health in Thailand. Uh, I and I'm a study for a PhD in the uh, Chulalongkorn University and I would like to learn about this because uh, my thesis has been related about the managing the pharmaceutical supply chain for public health emergencies. That's why I interested and would like to uh, I, I would like to know about more about the foundation of supply chain management and what would like to deeply understand and how to improve the mechanism for pharmaceutical supply chain management and a sustainable, a sustainable supply chain of essential medicine and drug shortages in both normal and emergency situations. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much. Um, thank you, Ms. Kakanang. And uh, first, I'd like to congratulate uh, all of you for performing so well so far. Um, throughout the steps. Um, now, I, I also look forward to connecting with you all uh, more. Um, 
in a group and as well as if you all are facing any problems throughout these three months or beyond that as well you can always reach out to me so it was lovely meeting with you all uh, i think let's let's proceed forward now very quickly uh, i'll tell you about the course this course is the collective learning certificate one so basically collective learning certificate is in two parts one and two currently you all are starting with the first part after three months, so you, you have three months to complete the first course, okay? And you can very easily complete the, the course in three months. Um, if you follow the calendar, which I've given you, I've shared the calendar with everyone. If you want, I can reshare it with you. Today, also, I'll show the calendar. It's of 12 weeks. So you can very easily complete it in three months. After which, uh, you would get the access to Collective Learning Certificate 2. We'll speak about that later, at a later stage. Uh, when you'll be coming to an end with this course. Um, so CLC1, as you can see, covers basic supply chain functions, including supply chain governance, forecasting, procurement, inventory management, warehousing, and transportation. Um, as uh, So it's according to the European Qualifications Framework. And well, once you're completed with the course, you'll receive an international CPD certification as well, or which I'll speak later today. Uh, it's of great value. You should you, you it, it will surely add into your profile. So we'll speak speak more about the CPD certification later. Um, so moving forward with this, now you all shared with me that you know what are your expectations from the course. So at the end of the course, what we are expecting from you is you'd be able to explain the importance of supply chain in a health system and for achieving universal health. Uh, you you would be able to demonstrate the complexities of a public health supply chain. You'd be able to discuss the key concepts, process, and stakeholders in a public health supply chain. You'd be able to describe how quantity, cost, and quality of products can be managed effectively. You'd be able to explain the key downstream functions required to make products available to be to the patients. And you'd be also able to identify the supporting functions which enable the supply chain operation. So um, there, there is a lot going on in it. So if you're committing your three months into the course, not we won't take a lot of your time every single day. But if you're committing yourself for these three months to complete the course, 100% of the course, it's surely going to help you all a lot, a lot. So how it's going to help you, we'll discuss that as well. Um, so, but first, Descale, now how you can access the course, you can for sure, you know, the, the classic way you can go to the website, you can log in your credentials and you can uh, start accessing the course. But we also have the applications. Um, I'll share the presentation with you after with the recording um, after this session when everything is processed so you'll find this qr code so you can scan the qr code and you can install the application or you can you know you can go to the google uh, play store or app store you can type p skill and you'll find the hive application you can you know access the course very easily from there as well so these are the ways um now very important the competency assessment test what is this about? So you, you can find this link over here. When you click on this link, uh, it will take you to, to the competency assessment test. So what we suggest you as, uh, as from behalf of my team, we suggest you to take it right now. Then you take it after you're done with the course. Okay, you'll understand where you are standing currently. And after the course, when you take it, you'll understand that, you know, was there any improvement in your knowledge? As well, when you're done with the course, maybe after two years, three years, you can come back to this test. So save this link. You can come back to this test and you, you can always keep on retaking it. So once you, you're done with this test, your responses, your entire profile reaches us. So our, special, our trainers um, and our team is going to prepare a report based on your response and you'll receive a personalized report, okay? So uh, this will happen every time you take this uh, this test. So I'll surely suggest you all to, you know, especially give this test this week, this weekend, if you get some time. And yeah, we'll, we'll share with you your results, your reports, personalized reports. So this is the competency assessment test, which is open for all. Um, 
it's it's about that so of course we'd like to encourage you to take this assessment test this is the link uh, you'll find the link in the course as well okay in the first module in, in the introduction module but also you'll find it in this presentation you can click here and you can start as well as this link i've shared with everybody on the mail so you can simply check it from there um it's about that now let's come back to the main thing, which is navigation on the Hive platform. So first step uh, includes, you need to go to hive.bskill.com. So this is a classic system, which I'm explaining you that, you know, how you can access the course using your computers or laptop. So go to hive.bskill.com. There you're going to find this, um, this option of login. Right now it's in French because the course is available in two languages, but you can of course toggle and you can change the language. So you, when you click on login, there you can find this uh, option of entering your login ID and password. Then you can click on this option to do your human verification. Once it's success, you can log in. Okay. So this is going to be your system to log in into the course. After that, uh, you can find on the top and on the fourth tab, you'll find this option of courses. So click on courses. The first option, which is public health, that is what, um, what is related to you, right? So click there and then it will take you to this page, step four. Um, you will find several courses, but you all are currently enrolled in the first course. Okay, so this is the first course, CLC1 Supply Chain for Health, FIP supported. So you will find this option of start course. So you can quickly, you can, you know, click over there and, and it's going to start. Oh, what has happened? Yeah. Okay, so you can start with the course. Well, I'll explain this live to you all as well today. But how you can make the most of this Hive platform currently right now, like as you know, uh, there are a few of us who are there in this meeting, but there are several others who have already completed this course from all around the world and several others who are, you know, currently as well going through the course from Sierra Leone. People are going to start from Nigeria as well. Um, there are there are people who are currently enrolled in the French courses. So you can go on this member tab, the third one. There you will find all of the members. Okay. Yeah. So you can simply uh, press this option. You know, click to send connection request. So you can click this option and you can connect with the other person. So you can also click on the person's profile. You can read their profile, what they've accomplished. Like every one of you also have your own profile. So you can follow the person. You can uh, share a friend request with the, with the person. You can also share a personal message to the person. Okay. So there's this uh, option also with which you can connect. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it's a great way of networking. So throughout these three months, I'll surely encourage you all to connect with as many people as you can to improve your network as well. Um, so yeah, I mean, this is a little bit about networking through Hive. Um, how to make the most of the Hive platform. So there are several groups uh, and communities as well, which you're going to find. So you can, of course, explore the groups option, forums option, blog option. You can also find, so whenever, for example, if I tag you in some, some post where your um, engagement is required, your opinion is required, you'll always find that in the notification tab and the, the message tab, okay? So all your messages are also going to come here. So please keep, keep a regular check on that. Whoever is connecting with you, you can connect back as well, okay? Uh, notification tab is there. So when you click on the notification, if you shared a request with someone, you can, you know, if that person is accepted, you'll find it here. Uh, messages, if if uh, there's a new update on Hive, that also you're going to find. So please keep a regular check on your message box and notification box to not miss out on any updates. Well, that was about it. Um, so there, there's an option with which you can take notes. So for example, this is the first um first overview of the course like the introduction session the first one so when you watch the video you'd also want to take some notes so probably you don't have a pen and paper with you or, or you want a place where you can you know take your own notes and save it for later so you can as the video is going on you can quickly take your notes as well okay 
so it's it's about that then for completing so now when once you've watched the video what is necessary is to also go through the learning material which our trainers have uploaded for you any task work which is uploaded for you and also to to complete the course so whatever whatever questions are asked make sure you're responding to that and the most important part is you need to complete the that chapter that lesson or that module by clicking on mark complete option which you'll find at the end for example this is a complete uh, screenshot of this thing so this is the first module you watch the video once you're done with this at the end you'll find this click to complete option okay so you once you click on the option it, the 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 module is done so how we know as the team that you've completed the session is that once you click on mark as completed the this option will change into this green tick okay so once there are all the green ticks going on, so your progress also keeps on updating on our system. So as we'll weekly keep on sharing the progress report of everybody, you, your, your progress, progress report is going to, you know, get better if you're completing, if you're clicking on this option and it's coming to our system. So make sure you're clicking on mark complete. Okay, so it was about this. Please, um, keep on keep an option i mean keep on asking me questions if you have any well moving forward so i'd also like to give you all a live tutorial on you know how to go through all of that so i'll stop sharing my screen for a second i will yeah <laughs> so Corinne says that uh, taking notes on the computer yeah I mean that's a good feature and you can you know take your notes for later so it is the live session I'm quickly going to share the screen okay Right. I hope my screen is visible to all. Um, well, this is the the page where you all have been. Uh, so this is hype.bskill.com. You can click on login now. You can also change, for example, if it's coming in French, you can uh, toggle and you can change the option from, you know, French to English from here, right top. Um, so when I click on login now, your um, you get this option of you know, adding in your credentials, so login ID or password, just in case you forget your password uh, at any point in your time. I mean, it can happen, it's normal. You can click on forgot password and that is going to take you to the page where, you know, you can reset your password. Um, and if that doesn't work for you, if you, you're feeling too confused, you can reach out to me, I'll help you out with that, okay? So when, once the human verification is done, you can click on uh, the login option. Um, I believe everybody has made their accounts till now, so you don't have to go through this uh, process of create an account um, all over again. Yes, well, I hope um, my screen is visible to everybody. Can someone um, confirm me if my screen is visible to you? Yeah, it's fine. yeah, yeah, it's well, it's yeah well, well right. presented, yeah. Okay, thank you so much, Mahmoud. Um, so this is, for example, my profile. Now, first step before you, I mean, get into any other thing, you need to complete your own profile as well so that, you know, the other health professionals, if they want to, don't want to connect with you, that's going to be a great option. So here is this option of complete profile. So once I click on that, I'll get the option of, you know, um, uploading my picture, uploading my cover picture or, you know, um, filling in my basic details. So here, for example, ha have added all uh, basic details. You, ha you can also add in a little about me, which is going to be like a bio uh, of yours and when people read uh, if they want to connect with you they can they can read it and 
yeah they can connect with you you have an option of uploading profile uh, photo which i'll recommend everybody to do so because that's me that makes your profile um much much nicer so you can click here and al also we've always uh, put this little you know dimensions and the formatting so make sure it's all right um so yeah i mean simply you can also change your cover photo so this is the, these are some simple steps by which you can um edit your profile now moving forward we have these on the top you can see the dashboard option explore the hive please do explore the hive there are so many things activity whatever activity is happening on hive because right now you're only enrolled in the fip courses but you'd also want to you know connect with uh, professionals from other courses or other communities so it shows in the activity session uh the most interesting one the members uh section so i mean we'll quickly explore that yes so um on this section um you know you can so for example i was connecting with rufin but let's remove his name and then let's search So here, you can also, uh, you know, change their filters with which, for example, you want to uh, filter out the country from this country you want to connect or you want to filter out the, prof the, the, the profession of the person you want to connect with similar professionals. So then you can, um, you know, find all the professionals and there are many more, there are around, uh, you know, 2000 professionals here. Uh, health supply chain professionals so you can um, navigate more okay there are more pages so as I told you for example if I want to connect with Samuel today um, I can share a connect request with him okay and if I want to message him I can uh, send a message I can also follow him for example I've shared a connect request now this request will go to him in the notification bar so when he clicks over there he'll find my request and if he wants to accept it he can accept or reject it okay so these are some basic steps um then we have our courses the most important one so i'll quickly get you all through it so gender and development right now is uh, is not very uh, useful for you because you're enrolled in the public health um, course so you can click on the public health um, option here and you will find several courses. So in the first one, Collective Learning Certificate, FP supported one, um, you will find the CLC1 and CLC2 course, okay? So right now you find don't, won't find this option of start course in CLC2 because I will give you the option to, to you know, start with it after the three months. So right now you'll find the start course option here. So you'll find several other courses. So before we get into there, um, like, for example, the French courses, the one which are going in different countries. But also, if you scroll down, the last two sections are very important for you because these are free certification courses of which you don't have to pay. But you also get a certificate and they are very small uh, courses, which will surely add into your profile. They are made by uh, supply chain experts and hold great value. So, so, for example, you can click on active learning session one. This is the first free certification course. You can go through it. Then you can go through the second certification course as well. There are several micro learning uh, free certification courses as well. French ones are not a lot of your use unless you know French. Um, but these ones you can go through, okay, ABC analysis, MLC, effective healthcare waste management. So I'll encourage you uh, along with the CLC one course, if you get time, please go through them as well. There are little courses, five modules, four modules, all right? So let's get back to what course we are enrolled in. So this is the CLC one um, supply chain for health course. So once I click here, okay, I've opened it in a tab. Um, here, you will find all about the course now you have the course content how does it go course introduction will happen seven modules which you have to complete and then finally you have your course evaluation and final assessment the most important steps to get your cpd so um so let's let me quickly go through i mean help you all out with that 
let's expand it okay so for example in course introduction you are going to find wherever you find this video uh, little icon it means that this uh, chapter con consists of a video which you need to watch okay so once you're done with that the one which uh, I was talking about the competency profile assessment right you can simply go through it here um, so that is it then module one comes so you can complete module one the second third fourth fifth sixth seventh or when all the modules are done in these three months you finally have a course evaluation test Okay, now these are the two, two important steps of which I'll take you on later. So let's quickly get started with the course. Okay, so let me click on start course. Okay, let's start. has accepted my request. So now I've got the notification. So this is how you know. Okay, um, so here in the course introduction, for example, I go through the first lesson. Okay, overview of the course supply chain for health. So let's go through that. I'm just showing you a little demo so that you don't face any problems. So here, as you can see, it's 0% complete. It's showing, right? So here, there's a video. I'll watch the video. Okay, so our trainer has uploaded a video. Uh, then there would be a few questions. For example, I've rated it average. I've clicked on submit vote. And then the most important part is mark complete. For every chapter, you need to complete mark complete. Then only your progress would be updated. If you miss, if you watch the video, read everything, you don't click on mark complete. You don't know. So if you can see 16% completed my course. Okay, so as much um, this progress is showing every week I'm going to share a progress report with you all showing that you know how much each and everybody has completed the course um, so that we are updated with what is going on right because we are not meeting every week so we should but still be connected in some or the other way so um, I mean you can you can go through it this way make sure there's a tick mark in every lesson uh, go through all of that and finally once you're done with the seven modules you're done with the rigorous studies you can then um, go for the quizzes okay the course evaluation and the final assessment quiz now what is it about in the so course evaluation would be a little test which is okay you can give the final is the final assessment it is mandatory for each and every uh person who is enrolled in this course to score 60 percent and above in the final assessment test you are given five chances to you know um to score 60 percent plus if you fail to do so you won't receive any cpt certification uh so i'll surely recommend you all to you know go through these modules very very nicely if you face any problems in any of the concepts our trainers are always available to guide you if you want any live session to be organized with the with the trainers over a topic you can always let me know we always have that option but for us, what is important is that you complete the final assessment so that we know that, you know, most of the course content you've understood. Our, our uh, target is not just to complete the course, but to make you complete with proper knowledge. OK, so it's not going to be very, very easy, but uh, I'm sure you'll be able to do it if you're consistent. OK, so um, it was about this, the, the, the course. So um, similarly, you can go through the free certification courses like I showed you on the course tab uh, over here. So um, that that was the about the course navigation. Finally, we keep on uploading blogs and forums. If on the top you can see my the the my this thing, okay. You can when we click on communities, so you can read the blogs which are uploaded by supply chain professionals. And yeah, I mean it's always going to be very fruitful for you. You can join our global communities and technical groups. There is a women in global health leadership community where, where um, you know, women from all over the world who are working in the health supply chain sector are there who are empowering others to grow and uh, very, very important resources are also shared. So you can also give back to the to the community by joining it. Uh, FAL community network is for FAL professionals uh, for the French language course. Um, there are also alumni groups where our alumni are present and, you know, who are there to guide. There are technical groups as well, um, based on, you know, the, 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 the free courses, which I shared with you. 
so you can participate there as well to give your point of view okay uh, there are classroom groups so you don't have to you know come here directly uh, you you would automatically be able to engage here through the course okay so uh, you'll find out about that as you go through the course so let's keep that as a little surprise for you um so yes i mean that was um very much about the hive platform so i'm not taking you through the other features because i want you to explore it uh, yourself there are so many things you can do on the hive platform okay um also now you can read about what are the trends what is the hive about the diverse from which countries most of the people coming from so let me come back to presentation very quickly. Uh, do you have any questions for me till now? You can ask me. We can discuss that. Okay. I hope my screen is visible. You can uh, raise your hand, okay? If you have any questions, we can discuss that. Well, um, that was a little live tutorial for you. Now coming to the CPD certification, you can, so as I told you, you need to uh, complete the final assessment, the final test, which I showed you with more than 60% scores, okay, to be able to achieve your CPD certification. This is a global certification and it, it, it has immense great value uh, to one's profile and they are I mean, hundreds of supply chain professionals who've already gone through it, who have already shared with us in several interviews that how it has benefited them to get uh, better jobs or to increase their knowledge. Okay, everything. So we, I would suggest you, if you are enrolled in this course, please commit to it. Give your three months very well. Complete it as soon as possible, the course. Get enrolled in the second one. Many of you are already enrolled, I think. Um you know, complete the CLC to get its CPD certification as well. Now, one thing is that you don't have to wait three months to get your CPD certification, okay? There are many supply chain professionals who completed in one month, 1.5 months. And as soon as they're done, um, we give them their, their certification, okay? So you don't have to wait the three months. It's just a common uh, time frame for everybody. To obtain the CPD certificate, all learners must complete the course on the Hive platform. They need to score 60% plus. If an individual is unable to complete 100% of the course and pass the assessment before the expiry date, they will not receive the CPD certificate, okay? Uh, which means after, if you are not able to complete in three months the course, then also you don't receive the CPD certificate, okay? Now, for example, if you complete the course in three months, but you're not able to pass the final test in the five given attempts, you still have the option of paying a little penalty fee and then, you know, getting the last five chances. But after that, we would not be able to issue. So, but anyway, we would uh, recommend you to, you know, study the modules well, uh, completed in the five already given chances, okay? So it is, it is about that. Well, um, now I would like you to share with us and with the world, what are your expectations with the course? Um, let me quickly share the link with you all. What are your expectations with the course? Because we'd be able to, you know, track then after three months, were you able to achieve it or not? And we'd be able to, you know, um, work specifically on those aspects which you're, you speak of. Well, let me connect. Let me share the link with you. I'll also share the link uh, to you by mail. So I have shared the link in the chat, if you can see. So as I'm taking you through the final steps, uh, you can please fill the form uh, so that we have the record. Okay, it will take two minutes. There are two questions. <laughs> uh, so finally, there are some tips from our um, trainers. The trainers you'll find in the course as well. Uh, please allocate around 30 minutes every day um, to complete the course. You can take video lessons. So, so as I showed you, there's an option for you to take notes, right? So please take notes. There's a, there should be a strategic quiz attempt. Um, so, I mean, be, 
so you, you need to the flexible approach accommodates your schedule so make sure you have some time allocated for the quiz because your mind you should be fresh your mind should be clear um you should have revised everything and then you're giving in the quizzes so that you know you are you're actually putting yourself into test weekend deep dive so for example today is the weekend tomorrow is the weekend so please give in more time two to three hours because I totally understand you all are working professionals you don't have a lot of time during the week to go through the course um so during the week 30 minutes every day and during the weekend two to three hours every day okay I mean Saturday and Sunday engage in collaborative learning which is the most important important part so we will start try connecting with each other through mail um through whatsapp um through the hive platform we'd also organize so many webinars and sessions so try to you know in these three months improve your network collaborative learning okay yeah so there are these are some tips from our trainers um and i think yes we finally have the q a session and then we'll get we'll wrap up with the session so uh do you have any questions to ask me today You, you can simply go ahead if you have. Or is it all fine? Uh, I think it's all clear and, you know, you know, the way that you presented the part, this, uh, the presentation. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mohamed. Um, so, I mean, yeah, if it's it's all clear, we are, we are done with today's session. Um, I, congratulations to everybody in getting enrolled in the course. Uh, and I've seen the progress you've made in this week. A few of you were able to start through the mail I shared with you, the steps, but I know that wasn't very much clear. So, organizing this session was important. So um, now, since, since everything is clear, please, please uh, give in more time. I really hope in one, 1.5 months, I would, I would be able to share you know, the list with, the, with my team that, you know, you all have completed with the course and you're ready for CLC2. And we'd be able to, you know, distribute the CPD certificates as well. So uh, it was lovely speaking with you all. Please stay connected with me over WhatsApp. Keep on updating me that, you know, these are the problems you're facing and if you want a particular session to be organized if you want that you know everybody the 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 10 11 people who have joined today if you all want that you know we want to connect again over a topic let's organize a session i'm always up for these sessions we can always do so okay so well uh please the link is need for per oh need to permission Okay, okay, no worries, Samuel. I will um, look into this option. I think probably there's some technical issues here. And then I'll mail this link to you, okay? So have a great weekend and have a great learning session. So I think we are, we are, we are done with this. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank I'm, you, Shreya. Sorry, just um, this is coming yeah. to my mind, but yeah. Uh, I'm just uh, suggesting that if we have like WhatsApp group and for all the winner and this is, will be a great opportunity for connection. So we could sure. be connecting through the social media and also on the B-Skill website. This is a big great. Thank you. Sure, sure, Mohammed. sure. Even we were thinking so because we have the WhatsApp group for other countries and other courses going on. So we'll surely make a WhatsApp group at the earliest next week or this weekend. And I'll add everybody and we'll, you know, try to uh, share as many resources or have some good uh, communications. Also, please connect with us on LinkedIn. Okay, we, we can also connect with each other on LinkedIn. Um, we keep on reposting things which you all share, uh, health professionals share. So it's a great way to connect. Well, thank you. Thank you so much, everybody. And pass a great weekend. Thank you. Thank Bye. you very much. Nice to meet you. Thank you so much. Thank you.